Welcome back to Coronavirus Simulator. Exactly. Danganronpa style. Oh, wait. I don't think we're supposed... Whatever. I'm not even... Oops. I'm not a part of the fucking YouTube thing. Looks like things are getting pretty strange. Even so. But now is not the time for us to do our best. We need to stand firm until Nekamaru comes back. Don't overwork yourself too much, though. Your wound hasn't fully healed yet. <laughs> eh, I can't slack off now. Oh. Maybe. By the chance, uh, is Mikan gonna attend all the Nagito's needs? Damn it. Damn it! This is a dilemma. I don't want to get sick, but I'm jealous of the disease. Why? I don't have the time to say stuff like that. Oh, you want you want Mikan to fucking touch your naked ass body? Why are you behind there? Must be the will of causality. This disease, it resembles an illness the Demon King once unleashed long ago to wipe out a large count country. The Black Plague? <laughs> there is no reason it would work against me, the Supreme Overlord of Ice. <laughs> um, I am worried about those three. But is there any chance that Mikan will catch it while she's tending to them? That's a chance. We should consider that too. I feel like Mikan would become like Hiyoko and Hiyoko would become like Mikan. I want to see that. Jeez. That disease sure looks dangerous. Nagito and Akane and Ibuki aren't acting normal. If this spreads onto anyone else and killing is bound to happen. Let me tell you. Based on their observation, based on their observed behavior, I cannot deny that. But those guys aren't being considerate. I want them to at least have the decency to give, uh, consider committing suicide before they start bothering us. That is... Hey, Hyoko. <laughs> I know, it can't be that easy. So it's important to make sure we don't end up catching the disease. Make sure? What do you mean? Jeez, why don't you get it? We need to isolate them from us and they won't spread the disease. Isolate? Yeah. If you can't cure it, the only option to stop it from spreading is to pre even a preschooler knows it. It's true. Everybody wear masks. But still, it's, isn't isolating them a bit too harsh? No. Even if everyone catches the disparities, we won't be able to do anything a bit. We won't be able to do anything about anymore. About it anymore, you know? This is bad. Uh, you're right. There's no way we should allow it to spread. Hold on a sec. Hey, hey. Isolation, you mean to quarantine them inside the hospital, right? Yeah! Ch Chiaki, don't tell me you also agree with this, Hajime. This is... Khan. That's wrong. It's to prevent a killing. As long as the disease is Monokuro's motive, if we just ignore it, a killing will happen again. To prevent that, we have to prevent disease from spreading. That is why we need to quarantine them. Like... Even if the quarant even if we quarantine them, who's gonna take care of them? <laughs> Mikan's gonna stay here anyway. She's been touching all the infected all over. It's impossible she's gonna get get caught with the disease. But there's no way we can leave her by herself. Then why don't you stay too? Huh? Huh? Now that I think about it, you touched them when you took their temperature, right? Oh. <laughs> So I'll leave the rest to you. Contact me if anything happens. If something happens. Okay, I'll contact you and spread it to you too. Contact you? How are we supposed to do that? Jeez! Oh right, we need a way to communicate. If we keep meeting a person, we'll catch the disease. Hey you! So I'll let you handle that, Kazuichi. Uh, yeah, got it. Fine. Fret not. We are not going to abandon you. I shall station myself nearby in case anything happens. Thank you, Gundam. Nearby? There is a motel on this island. Until this matter is resolved, we shall stay the night there. Aww. What? Do we really have to stay in such a dirty place? Silence. What are we supposed to do if we can't immediately get here if something happens? Also, if that disease is airborne, the hotel on the first island might already be unsafe. This is the Tanaka Empire! We must be vil vigilant about protection. I have those who I must protect. You. They are just hamsters, Joe. I'll destroy you! That is an unkind thing to say. You fiend! How dare you call my four Doc Davis of destruction hamsters? Jeez! 
Fine, I'll stay at the motel, okay? Jeez, how annoying. <laughs> Even if it's a uh, quarantine, we're still gonna be on this uh, some island, so just call us if something happens. <laughs> huh? W what are you frustrated for? I don't like this. This is obviously a trap. Monokuma's got a... Namakuna's goal is to separate us as a group. Is it really okay for us to fall for that? So... It's not like we've stopped being friends. I just don't want killing to happen ever again. We can't prevent that if we get sick, you know? You know, right? Yeah, that's right, man. There's no way we're gonna lose together here, you know? That's right. Cause if that happens, then Monokuma gets what he wants. Is this everybody here? Oh, no. Hey. Hey, Hiyoko. Wh what did you... What did you just say? What did you say to me earlier? Something about me being the first one to get cut off? And? What, what's wrong with that? Huh. This, this must be that moment. It's not like Mikan and Hajime had, are enough people. You. Are you saying you're gonna stay here too? Huh? You too? <laughs> this life, this life of mine is a spare anyway. <laughs> Fine then, do whatever you want. Hey, Fuyuhiko, are you sure? You might be endangering yourself, you know? Jeez. Hey, don't make me repeat myself. Hey, hey. Y you're really, really okay with this? Then I'm gonna leave the rest to you, too. <laughs> Whatever happens over here, just leave it to us. We'll make sure to keep the disease from spreading. Come on, shouldn't you guys head over to the motel before you catch the disease? I am sorry. I'm so sorry that we're forcing this upon you like this. No, what everyone's saying is true, so it's okay. Thanks. Thank you, both of you. I won't let your feelings go to waste. As long as I'm with Fuyuhiko, I'm fine with that. We'll make sure to find out the mystery of the despair disease while you're all here. I think. I think. Probably. I'd really prefer if she had more confident sounding catchphrase. Um. Now then, I shall excuse myself. I'm counting on you. <laughs> then I'll make sure to figure some way uh, to, com com to communicate Bye. later. Bye bye, do your best and try to stay alive. And just like that, the others left, leaving me and Fuyuhiko at the hospital. Hey, uh, Fuyuhiko, it's just uh, you and me now. Oh, you touched my ta la la. Mmm, my ding ding dong. Shut up. I never expected it would. Are we having free time with Fuyuhiko? Jeez. It's not like it's their fault. It's that bastard Monokuma's fault. <laughs> I can't believe he'd actually arrange something as irritating as a disease. Hello. Uh, thank you for waiting. <laughs> Phew, they're finally finished changing. Everyone's resting in their rooms. Huh? Why is it just you two? Huh? Um, you know. <laughs> oh, I know. They must have got left to get fruits and bring them back later. Everyone's so kind. I'm glad everyone's thoughtful towards our friends. Well, well, like I said, <laughs> we're all equals when we're sick. Let's work together and do our very best. <sighs> Hajime, I'm sorry, but I'll let you handle the explanation. That's quite the burden I have to bear. Well, he has a slit stomach, and so we decided to split into two groups. In the hospital, there. Are Three people who caught Monokuma's despair disease, Akane, Nagito, and Ibuki. There's also Mikan, who's nursing them back to health. And as a safeguard, Fuyuhiko and myself, to all together, six people are staying at the hospital. Chiaki, Gundam, Kazuichi, Sonia, and Hiyoko are staying at the motel at the same time. Where's Nekomaru? As for Nekomaru, he's not back yet, but... Anyway, until we do something about this despair disease, our current situation isn't going to change. He's not dead yet, though, because he is the thing on the, on the, um... Report card? Yeah, report card. We also have no clue what we need to do. Seriously, what should we do? Huh? I suddenly woke up. And if I woke up, that means I fell asleep without realizing it. Earlier, I discussed with Fuyuhiko, and we decided we'd take turns resting. That's right, that's why I came to the on-call room on the second floor in the hospital. I haven't... I haven't been sleeping well the past few days, so I suddenly... A sudden drowsiness overtook me. And I was asleep, which is a good thing, but... 
My body feels really heavy for some reason. No, it's not just heavy. It feels somewhat soft and... Am I getting despair disease? What the fuck is with my hair? <laughs> Your hair has a boner. Yeah, what the fuck? Okay. I can't breathe. Oh. Okay. She's suffocating you with her, like, body. Yeah. It's every man's dream. Huh? <laughs> <Jimmy? laughs> <laughs> 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 Jimmy, are you okay? Your complexing is blushing purple. Purple shade. It must serve a... Uh, a... Sayonic? Santonic? Sayonotic reaction. Hashimi, can you hear me? Get a hold of yourself! Mika finally got off me, grabbed my shoulders, and began shaking me intensely. Somewhat... What, somehow that was enough to get my consciousness to drift back to reality. Uh, uh. Oh, Hashime, you're regaining consciousness! I'm so glad I thought you died! Me, me too. I seriously thought I was gonna die. I am sorry. I thought you were taking a rest in the Alcon roll, but you were asleep, so... That doesn't mean you can climb on top of me. <laughs> then I'll be on the bottom next time. Okay. That's seriously not what I'm hey. talking about. Hey! What are you guys doing? <laughs> Fuyuhiko. <laughs> We're just doing it, you know? No, this is really... Hope you didn't get the wrong idea. Don't tell me. What are you guys sleeping together? Bastard. You dirty rotten bastards! You guys are fucking high school students! Seriously, you've got it all wrong. It. We don't have time for that. Nagito, he's in danger. Danger what? When I peeked inside his room earlier, it looked like he wasn't breathing. <gasps> this is bad. I have no time for rest right now. Mikan vigorously leapt out of bed and ran to the on-call room. Hajime, now's not the time for you to be pitching a tent. <laughs> we need to hurry. Seriously, I'm not! <laughs> Fuyuhiko and I chased after Mikan as uh, she ran into Nagito's room. Can we just let M Nagito die? I feel like not... I feel like... Nagito, please get a hold of yourself! Yeah, just shake him. Just shake him and he'll be fine. I feel like uh, Monokuma wouldn't let someone just die from a disease. That's boring. Despite Mikan's desperate pleas, I didn't see Nagito react at all. Don't tell me. There's no way he'd die, right? The body discovery announcement isn't even playing, right? Fidget, fidget! Fidget, fidget! <laughs> Damn it, he's totally waiting for it. Damn it! This looks very bad. I don't know, Monokuma seems excited about people just dropping <laughs> like flies. <laughs> Despite Mikan's desperate cries, I didn't see Nagito react at all. Let's let's throw a water bucket at him. Mikan, is Nagito all right? Uh, um, it looks like his breathing has returned. Really? But still, his conditions are predictable. That's what's putting it lightly. Hey, hey! How light is that? Is sweet potato soft? Well. If so, that's pretty light. Uh, Please don't interfere. Hey. Hey, look, isn't Nagito's mouth moving? You're gonna... You're right. Oh, you're right. He might be uh, trying to say something. <laughs> Nagito, what happened? As she said his name, Mikan softly tilted her ear toward Nagito's lips. What did he say? Um, apparently, he's in Kitchen of Gru. He feels quite refreshed. What? Um, since Monokuma said that, Nagito has a, the liar disease. He probably means the opposite, and actually feels really crappy. Right. But, what's going to happen if he just dies? We're not going to have a class trial, right? Don't talk like that! Yes! Nagito's never gonna die! We will save him by any means necessary! Please, no. If there Let's is see. any situation... All human lives are precious. No, not Nagito's. I see. I see, I got it. Then I'll leave Nagito's life to you. Yes! Far from her usual self, Mikan responded assertively and went back to tending to Nagito. If we stay here any longer, we might just get in the way. Damn right. And follow me. 
While you were resting, the the goods arrived. I gotta show you them to you. The goods aren't something dangerous, anyway. right? Let's go to the lobby. Okay. Is by chance is there any um Monokuma in here? Okay, see ya. Look at that. All the rooms. <laughs> no one in there now. Yo, what's good? What's good? What's good? Anyway. The goods were were delivered to the lobby. Let's hurry up and go. Hey, Fuyi Ego, what did you mean when you say the goods? Clearly with this thing right here. Right. Look on top of the reception desk. On top of the reception desk. Whoa, did he really make those? Those are fucking cool. Fuyi Ego's talking about this, right? It looks like a monitor and a camera, right? Hey, what's this? Huh. Perfect timing. The blue light is blinking. Does something happen when this blinks? Seeing is believing. As they say, try pressing the button just below that light. I just have to press the button? Dude, just fucking do it. Just stop repeating what he says. I did what Fuyihiko said and pressed the button. What's up? Hey, is this Hajime? Hey, <laughs> loud and clear. Looks like it's perfectly connected. Kazuichi, then this is... Huh. Yeah, that's right. That's the way to communicate. That's the way to communicate you was talking about. Looks like it's time for the ultimate mechanic to shine! How about it? This is what I've been working on. <laughs> remember that alley with the with all alley. those shady well, remember that alley with the, all those shady looking straight booths? That's where I found this. It's a surveillance camera for where for uh, household use. And I just tweaked it a little. <laughs> so now it's basically a video chat device. Well, it's pretty hit or miss. Video chat, huh? It's it's true, uh, we don't have to worry about getting infected with this. That's right! So, if m it may be a hassle, but we'll be contacting each other with this from now on, okay? This was uh, only a test run this time, so I guess this should be pretty fun. Okay then, see you later! Will you be bringing us food? Huh. I suppose, right? Guys, we you left this while you were here resting. Damn right! This surveillance camera unit uh, comes with a surveillance camera and a surveillance monitor. Anything that the camera records is broadcast live on the monitor. So he prepared two of these sets and swapped each of uh, their cameras. I see, by swapping the cameras, his monitor will display what's on the camera and vice versa. Apparently he also modified a little. Modified it a little. He Wrong person. Apparently he, uh, apparently he also modified it a little. He, wind, he widened uh, its narrow communication range beyond its household use. Even so. But even so, he still had a limit to, uh, apparently, the signal can't reach from the hospital to the motel. Then we can't communicate between the hospital and the motel. <laughs> you didn't notice he was contacting you just now from uh, the music venue near the motel. From there, the signal reaches the hospital with no problems. But they're staying at the motel, right? What happens if we can't reach them when we need to? Damn right. I thought the same thing, so we arranged times for us to contact each other. It's set up for us to communicate 30 minutes after Monokuma's morning and evening announcements. <laughs> Our next contact with them is going to be tomorrow morning. Don't sleep in. He's well prepared, as expected, of the air of an enormous organization. Uh. Hmm, what is it? Nothing. Ding dong, bing bong. It is not to you. Now, then. We can't go to our rooms, you asshole. Yep. Now then. It's that time already, huh? Now then, uh, where should I sleep tonight? <laughs> Are you planning to use the on call with a certain someone again? <laughs> like I said, it's not <laughs> it's not what I look like. You guys. Hey, hey, aren't you misunderstanding? Hey, you. A hospital is a facility for sick people. So it's not for lounging, you're young romantic tyrants, you know? Y you two, what are you talking about? I don't like this. Oh, I see, your generation has fallen out of the habit of looking at bulletin boards. Come on, take a look at the bulletin board. 
There's a notice on there, right? A notice on the bulletin board? Yeah, we looked at it earlier. <sighs> bulletin board notice. Is he talking about this? Hospital precautions. Eating and drinking is forbidden within the hospital buildings. If patients do not need to be accompanied overnight, stays by non-patients are expressly expressly forbidden. Then we're supposed to sleep. Right? It's like the notices you often see inside hospitals. You can't stay overnight here. What are you saying? There's no... There's one patient who needs to be accompanied. Hmm. I'm talking about Nagito, right? Then I'll allow just one person to accompany him. The rest of you need to hurry up and get out of here. Jeez. Hospital precautions, my ass. You should have said so sooner. My, uh... Only, only one person can stay the night, and there's no way we can make Mikan leave. Jeez, you're pathetic. I guess we have no choice. We should, uh, head back to our cottages then. You're right, even if we stay here, we probably won't be able to do anything. After explaining the circumstances to Mikan, we decided to go back to our cottages for the time being. So Fuhik and I were going to the to be the only one sleeping in our cottages tonight. I'm a little worried. No one... No, the ones who are stuck in the hospital should be more worried. What's the point of me getting so worried? Alright, when I wake up tomorrow, I'll go to the hospital right away. I feel bad for leaving Mikan alone. I guess for now I should try to get some sleep. Good evening! It's time for Monokuma's cooking class! Today we're gonna learn how to make teriyaki. The first thing you need to do it is a time machine. We will travel back in time to the Meiji period and meet a person named Seijiro Kanbi. Kanabe? <laughs> he used to bake and sell turtle-shaped pastries, but unfortunately they never sold all that well. It's important that you gently cheer him up because he's gonna be disappointed in himself when you meet him. From there, get serious and insist that he try making his pastry fish shape, uh, fish shape because they'll sell better. Once that happens, he'll happily bake his pastries in the shape of a fish. And as a final touch, the name, th name these pastries, Taiyaki. Okay, with this, you finished making Taiyaki. You this concludes Monokuma's cooking class. Ah, cool. Okay. Bing dong, bing bong. Ahem. Hope speak a cat. Good. Now then. Okay. I'm worried about me counting the others. I should hurry over to the hospital. The moment I got out of the bed, I immediately left my cottage and headed over to the hospital. Cool, you're still alive. Glad to see yeah. it. Yo, you came early today. You're the only one who's early. Damn right. Well, I just got here. So, what should we do? There's still a little time before we need to make contact. Want to go to Nagito's room and check up on him? Yeah, I'm worried about how he's doing. Worry? Why do I have to worry about a guy like him? Still. Is he dead? The music stopped. Mikan, how's Nagito doing? Um, same as usual. No, no, actually, he might be worse than yesterday. This is bad. Are you fucking serious? His pulse is extremely weak. He might slip in critical condition sometime today. Is he that sick? But as long as I'm his nurse, I would never let Nagito die. Ever. I do understand how you feel, but. Don't overexert yourself, okay? Hey, Ajime. It's almost time to start the con the connection we need to head over to the lobby. Yeah, got it. After being reminded of how powerless I am, I left Nagito's room. Is Nagito gonna die? Is Nagito gonna kill Mikan? Is somebody gonna kill Nagito? Like, poison him? And to make it seem like he's actually dying from an illness? The incoming signal is lighting, blinking. Now then. Looks like they've already been waiting. Let's hurry up and uh, start the connection. 
Yeah, you're right. I pressed the button underneath the blinking light, and the monitor instantly lit up. Looks like the camera and the monitor are no problem making a connection. Soon enough, a familiar face showed up on the other side of the monitor. What's up? Hello, how is it? Can you see my handsome face? Yeah, I can see you real clear. <laughs> We're good on our end, too. I can totally see your broke-ass faces. It might be best if I tell the others about Nagito's condition. Hey, are you the only one over there? Nope. Nope, we're all here except for Hyoko. What happened to Hyoko? <laughs> <laughs> it seems we all look like aberrant enemies in the eyes of the, that coward. Um, she was locked herself in her room. She said from the other side, from the door, that she won't come out until the despair disease is cured. She's even being cautious around the others in the motel, huh? Looks like they're also in a testy situation. Hey, hey. So how about you? How are you guys doing? Yeah, about that. To tell you the truth, Nagito's actually in serious danger. Ooh. I already know he's serious danger! N no, not that. He's seriously wandering the border between life and death. What? What did you say? However... But he's going to be okay, right? Nagito is going to get better? Hey, hey! First the Kamaru and then Nagito? That ain't funny at all! Well, uh, for now, we really can't say. You really can't say? That's impossible! Monami, are you on the other side? Because um, it'd be dangerous if I got close to the hospital since I don't even know what's going on there. Yeah, you really are pissing me off. Like, why does a stupid stuffed animal need to be cautious about a disease? You can't! Please don't discriminate! That despair disease is horrible! It's a dangerous disease that can even destroy this island! So until we figure out how to deal with it, I will be on this side! Blip. Before I could respond to Monami, Fuyuhiko cut the connection. Don't fuck with me! That shitty stuffed animal! She seriously pisses me off! Ah, damn it. I'm going outside to cool off. Fuyuhiko practically spat those words before he went outside. Anyway, all we can do now is wait. Just wait patiently until the situation improves and changes for the better. That's why we waited patiently, because waiting patiently was the only thing we could do. We waited patiently. On a side note, why can't I relax when I'm in the hospital? I, I paced back and forth around the hospital lobby. Fuihiko entered and left the hospital many times. And times just kept passing by. Ding dong, bing bong. No, okay, it's just ding dong, bing bong. It's 10 p.m. Oh. Ahem! Hope speak it is now. Please reach your now, Ben. Sweet. What's gonna happen? Damn it! It feels like a lot of stuff got skipped over, and now it's nighttime already. It's almost it's almost time for tonight's transmission. Jeez, you're pathetic. We should go back to our cottages when that's done. It's fucking annoying to keep going back and forth, though. But before we go back, we can check on Nagito one more time. What, one more time? Go for it. Leave the transmission thing to me. Jeez. They're not going to have a new clue anyway. I can handle this. Then I'll leave it to you. What's going to happen to Nagito? Nagito's going to kill me, can Oh. Um. Whoa, Ibuki. What are you doing here? You need to be yes. resting. To tell the truth, I have been getting quite bored doing nothing but sleeping. Also, it would be terrible trouble if you... If... I? Also, it would be trouble... It would... Uh, also, it would be just trouble... You trouble... Trouble? Blah, 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 blah. Uh, I don't know what you're saying! Also, it would be trouble... <laughs> it, also, it would just trouble you if I slept all the time. time. I was hoping I can get... Help you in, with anything. But it's better if I'm sleeping, correct? Yeah, just get some rest for now. It'd be a big help if you got better soon. Understood. Yes, understood. That's kind of scary. I hope she gets better real soon. Can we, like, lock the doors? Yeah, really. I think Nagito doesn't have the disease. I mean, I think he does have the disease, but I think he's been testing else, too. He no, I think, I think he's faking it to kill. How? How would he stop breathing like that? I don't... You can stop yourself from breathing. What the I mean, fuck you can you stop talking? yourself from breathing, but you can't give yourself symptoms like that. You can still focus on caring for Nagito. 
She hasn't even noticed that I entered the room. Has she been caring for him this whole time? Hey, Mikan. Hey, Mikan. No matter how many times I talk to her, she's not responding. Her back is turned toward me as she f focused on caring for Nagito. I peeked over to Mikan's shoulder and said, Hey, Mikan, are you okay? <laughs> Looks like he finally noticed. Please don't surprise me. I almost got wet. Oh, uh, what? Wet? Did you come to check on Magito? I just wanted to see how she's doing, but you look pretty tired too. Isn't it better for you to get a little rest? Um, um I hope I'm not mistaken, but that'd be really embarrassing. Are you by any chance worried about me? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> well, thank you very much. I'll remember this moment until the day I die. Okay. <laughs> I'm starting to get my energy back, so I'll get back to taking care of Nagito. I hope she understood what I said, but she's working so hard it'd be bad if I kept getting in her way. That's extremely how I felt, so I decided to just shut it up and go back to the lobby. Yo! Yo, how's Nagito doing? I'm more worried about Mikan than Nagito. She looks like she had no time to rest. Nagito's probably not doing well. What about you? Are you guys done with the transmission? As I expected, we wrapped it up quickly like they had nothing new to report. They're apparently trying to find a cure somehow, but there hasn't been many progress. So on both our ends, it looks like we had no result. Jeez, oh well, pathetic. let's look forward to tomorrow. With a depressing heavy mood riding on our backs, we headed back to our cottage. Sigh. My worries have piled so high that one sigh just isn't enough. And the more I think about it, isn't like I'm slowly being sucked deeper and deeper into an endless pile. I guess for today I should just go to sleep. It's best if I not dwell on it too much. And not just that. First thing in the morning I need to go to the hospital again. I kept telling myself that. I sighed. Uh, and I slowly closed my eyes. I have a blue, hazy scene began to take shape. In the depths of my consciousness, it slowly took its time hazily. Like watercolor, pain suspended in water. Slowly, hazily. There was a classroom from somewhere. A classroom that I've seen before. I don't know where. I can hear voices. Somebody's talking. Did you hear? Isn't it amazing? Apparently he's been accepted into Hope Speak Academy. But was he that exceptional? Those are noises. But I'm dully staring at my window, out the window, pretending not to listen. I don't want to listen. But even if I don't want to listen, the noise will leap into my ears. Oh, you don't know? Yeah, know what? Apparently you don't have to be exceptional to get into Hope's Week Academy. But it's an academy that recruits only exceptional students from around the world, right? I wanted to cover my eye ears. I wanted to run, to a place I deserve to be, not there, to a place where I can be more confident. Wow, I never knew that way That way was possible, so he's the same too? Obviously. I mean, he doesn't have any special talents that Hope Speak Academy would be interested in. He's just a normal guy who can be found anywhere. Well, admiring the academy is free, but it must be tough for the parents who have to write the check. Is he the ultimate admirer or some shit? Leave probably me alone. probably the ultimate ordinary kid. The fuck? Ultimate ordinary kid. I just... just want to become someone who's confident in myself. What is this anyway? What are they talking about? Why can't I remember? Who am I? Oh my god. Hey, hey. Did you know that... Talking about a personal failure is a good way to break the ice when meeting a new per new people. So I'm gonna tell you a story of personal failure. In the wild world I live in, popularity is a symbol of power. That's why I decided to write a fake love letter to myself so I could brag about it to others. I was bragging about it to my friend, but unfortunately all I had was an envelope. When my friend wanted to show me him the unwritten letter, I was in a real bind. So I showed him a blank piece of paper and said this. This letter was written with special ink. Only those chosen by God can see it. <laughs> when I said that, he was all, 
entire love letter is brimming with passion. However, things started looking bad at that point. The other people around us started praising him because they thought they really could read the letter. That's when he started hogging everyone's attention as a divine messenger of God. And eventually, he was worshipped by society. Now, he uses his followers to sell shady vases for a quick buck. Thanks to my big mouth, he became an ultimate ult Multi multi-millionaire. How regretful. What an epic fail. That was my story of personal failure. What did you think of it? Is it... Is that ice broken? Is the ice Since, broken? Is that ice broken? The ice. Nope. Since you listen to me, wanna buy this vase? <laughs> it's it's in pretty high demand, but I'll give you a deal on it, cause like you, cause I like you so much. I wanna see what. Let's. It's morning, huh? But for some reason, my body is heavy. No, not just heavy. It's somewhat soft and really hot. Wait a minute. Is Mikan with me again? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Again. He can't again. Hurry up and move. I, I, I can't breathe. Look, his hair's now zigzag. Yep. Why didn't you go to her cottage? I'm so confused. I don't know. Is this the is this the virus, the despair virus on her? Why are you why are you here? The Monokuma announcement hasn't aired yet. <laughs> oh now that you mention it. Well, I came here to wake you up, but it seems like I accidentally fell asleep. What kind of accent is that? But good news, you see, Nagata's condition has stabilized. Really? And I kind of rushed over to let you guys know Buffalo Eco's loom was locked, so Oh yeah, my lock is still broken, thanks to Ibuki. Anyway, please hurry over. Nagato's probably probably be saved yeah I got it I quickly got dressed and headed over to the hospital with Mikan although it I did wonder why it was necessary to be so pumped for someone like Nagito oh well best not to think about it um who's dying Who is gonna die? Hospital patient's room. Okay. There I saw Nagito who mangled, who's managed to sit up in his bed. Nagito, can you hear me? Hajime came to see how you were doing. The twin Ibukis are singing. I see Ibuki must have been a twin duo. The Veronicas. Is he supposed to be cured? Well, it's not like he's completely cured, but he was able to recover from his critical condition. They were utilizing their characteristic as twins, and they've been taking turns appearing before me. Which means there are actually 17 people on this island. The Veronicas! That's the answer! Hmm. After seeing this, it might have been better if he stayed quiet for just a little bit longer. I'm so glad, I'm so relieved for getting Nagato to regain consciousness! Oh, I'm so glad! <laughs> I feel so dizzy, somehow everything's spinning around me! Shouldn't you get some rest already? You should be exhausted from nursing without any sleep, right? Uh, then if you insist, I will use the on-call room upstairs. You must be mentally exhausted, so it's better for you to relax in the lobby instead. Yeah, I'll do that. Even though it's the morning. Good night. Mikan wobbled around a bit, then left the room. She's definitely exhausted. Well, it's understandable. I mean, she fell asleep when she was supposed to come to wake me up. Man. All along with ha all along with Hajime, huh? I can't stand being in the same room as you. Don't worry, I'm leaving. You should focus on curing that crappy disease of yours. <gasps> yeah, hurry up and go away. I don't want to see your face anymore. Okay, bye. Asshole. 
Ah, time Jump to masturbate. The, window. the morning Monokuma announcement should be starting soon. I should wait in the lobby for the transmission. Fuhiko isn't here yet. Huh? The surveillance camera unit's light is blinking. That's weird, but it's not transition time yet. Um... The light's blinking. It received some sort of transmission from the other side, right? That's pretty early. We haven't even received the Monokuma announcement yet. Might be something urgent, though. If so, there's no way I can make them wait until Fuhiko gets here. Alright, even if it's just me, I should receive the transmission. I reach my hand and press the reception button on the surveillance camera unit. Huh? Upon first glance, I immediately knew it wasn't a normal video. Slowly swaying, dim light is shining on the black curtains. I feel like some sort of ritual was about to begin. Is this light from a candle? But what was... But what was creepiest of all was the rope hanging from the ceiling. The end of the rope was tied in a loop, and beneath it was... There was a stepladder. It was like a... Gallows. What is this? I didn't understand at all. What's going on in the music venue? And what? And that's when it happened. It's Ibuki. Is that Ibuki? She's the only one who would do something stupid like that because she follows anything what anyone says. The moment I saw a silhouette slowly en entering the frame from the side of the screen, chills ran down my spine as if someone was dragging ice on me. A person wearing a hospital gown on a hemp bag on their head. What the? As I raised my voice in the surprise, the person in the hospital gown slowly started moving. Oh. Go! And began climbing the stepladder. Slowly, slowly. And they took their the time climbing it. They reached over to the rope hanging from the ceiling. Are you kidding me? And at that moment... The screen suddenly went pitch black, probably because of the candle. The only source of light had gone out. Hey! No matter what I said, there was no response from the- If I would have solved that, I would have rushed to the theater. On the other end of the monitor. What the heck is this? What's going on? B what in the world is going on? No, it doesn't matter. I have to do something about this. I might still be able to make it. I need to hurry over to the music venue. I rushed out of the hospital and ran over to the music venue where the transmission was made. I took my time talking about it, though. Ding dong, bing bong. Okay. Good morning, good morning. Just now the announcement of Monokuma's announcement. Vihiko should be arriving at, here at the hospital shortly. No, I don't have time to wait for him. I've got to get to the music venue. Look at me run. Chicken legs and arms. You should have left the moment you saw that. I swear to God, people are slow. Gotta wait for the animation. Please, please let me in make it. I rushed to the music venue with a prayer in my heart. But I completely forgot. Prayer means nothing on this island. Yep. Ibuki is dead. Yeah, it's Ibuki. With the hemp bag. They went to the music video. I mean, the, 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 the movie theater. I was too late. What in the hell is this? In the hot, the hot air inside the music venue, I couldn't keep myself from shouting. Hot air? Why is that so hot? What is the strange hot air inside the music venue? What the fuck? Who the fuck cares about the hot air? No, now's not the time to worry about that. More importantly, why is that? Why isn't anybody coming? What's everybody doing? The body's discovery announcement. That's right. There hasn't been anybody. There hasn't been an announcement yet. That's why nobody noticed yet. But then I need to hurry to let the others know. From here. The motel is close by. There should be a lot of uh, able-bodied people who can help me uh, there. I should hurry. I ran to the motel as fast as I could, trying to desperately not trip over my own feet. Hey, somebody get out of here! As soon as I arrived at the motel, I started shouting for help as loud as I could. I was wondering who was making such an infernal racket. So it was you. Gundam, there's something awful has happened. What? Don't tell me you intend to spread the path 
pathogenic bacteria so you can take us all down with you. If you want to pass, you must defeat me first. Um, what happened? Is there a problem? Fighting is not allowed. It's worse than trouble. There's a body. Huh? Didn't you hear me? A body was found. Could it be? B -b 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 body? Yeah! yeah! Could it be? Do you intend to spread lies like Nagito in order to confuse us all? Hold it. Hold it. Hajime, is that true? Of course it is. Isn't it obvious? Chiaki, you have seen Nagito's condition, yes? This fiend just has the same symptoms as him. But still... But there's no way we shouldn't check on it out, check it out. Because if Hajime's telling the truth, that means it happened again, right? <laughs> if that's true, we need to check it out. If that is the case, I will not stop you. Leave this to me. Leave this place to me, and you fiends go on ahead. <laughs> hmm. No need to worry, I will catch up with you easily. Um, Did that sound like a famous last word? Chiaki, can you go? Yeah, it's better if we hurry, right? Uh, let's get the fuck out of here. What about Sonya and Kazuichi? Fuck, they're still sleeping. They're getting up or shit, whatever. Hajime! Mikan, are you here? Perfect timing, please help us, Hajime! Help us? Ah, hey, hey. uh, Hajime, someone's coming over here. There. Hajime and Chiaki, what are you guys doing here? Fuyuhiko, are you here too? Oh, Is it obvious I'm looking for a buki? A buki? Looking for a buki? I was planning to rest in the on-call room, but I wanted to check on everyone first before I did that. Well, it's her said. But he buki's missing from the hospital and all of a sudden... Huh? Perhaps. So Hajime was saying earlier... Everyone's hurry. Huh? Hmm. How are you where? To the music venue, don't ask, just follow me. Music venue? <laughs> is Ibuki gonna be there? Yeah, she sure is. This is gonna be a longer episode, but we have to... We have to do this. I hope the food's okay. Oh, fuck. When is it done? Like, ten minutes ago. Oh my god. Damn it. My wound hasn't completely healed yet. Don't make me run so much. Hey. Is Ibuki inside here? The only way to know is going inside and confirm. That hanged body is really a buki. Let's go. I clenched my teeth and reached my hand out into the door. Glitter, clatter, clatter. What? What the heck? Why is it locked? Does that mean... Does that... Th that doesn't make sense. I mean, I was able to go through here just a few minutes ago. Then why won't the door we try from the other entrance? This is the only entrance in the music venue. There isn't even a window we can go through. But why is it locked? I don't understand it myself, but... We don't open it. The only thing we can do is force our way through. I wonder what's... I wonder if that's going to be possible. The four of us... The two of us are girls, you know. Well, one of us is injured. To do with you. It doesn't matter if you can do it or not. We have to try. Right. Let's go. We'll all charge at the same time. Ready, set... Now! At Fuyuhiko's signal, we charged into the door at full force. The door moved. Maybe it'll open easily after that all. Yeah, even with two girls here. Alright, one more time! At Fuyuhiko's signal, we charged into the doors. It was like a performance had just ended. Is Fuyuhiko okay? That moment, why? What? He's injured. Is he gay? Is he okay? Okay. That moment of silence just before the audience breaks out of a thunderous applause. And a few minutes after the silence, a scream surfaced. There it is. Wait. Is she dead too? What the fuck? There was... There wasn't just a hanged body. There was also another body, a suspended body, belonging to Hiyoko. Did she also catch the disease somehow? Sorry, guys. I...
Ding dong, ding dong. I guess we'll end it right here. A body has been discovered. Now then, after a certain amount of time has passed, the quest... Yep. Is it a body or bodies? A body has been discovered. Now then, after a certain... <laughs> We are shocked. Okay, we're ending it right here. I know. Anticipation. See you guys later. <laughs>